36 Bravo 3, 28 Bravo 3 are at the intersection of Bayshore Road and the highway at Taft just went by us. Heard from risk manager, apparently this guy is still on the phone. Um, there's a garage in his yard that's wide open, and SOC could be in there. He's not sure. Copy that. Turn on to Bay Shore. Two. Sure. Working there. Yeah, we must have drove past it there. We're down at the very bottom and took a left. Uh, we're going back on Bayshore now, I believe. Three names, like Shady Lane is one, Nature's Lane. Yeah, Shady Lane was to our right. We took a left instead of going Shady, so we'll go back up on Bayshore. Okay, you're going to see another one on your right, and just beyond that is 67. All right, we're just passing Nature's Lane coming back on Bayshore. Okay, and Bayshore does go to your right, but keep going straight again to where you came down. It looks like the second house on the right is 67 Bayshore Road. What's that road off there? Well, we are right now coming out just above nature and shady. That's also Bayshore. It goes all the way around back to that first member you encountered. So keep going straight. It loops right around.
just outside of a red faded residence there. I don't see a number though. Off Hotel Sierra nine three two. It's a silver Honda hatchback, I think. And that's associated to uh, male Chris Patton of Lower Turo. Address. 80, Old Road, number 3. 80, Old Road, number 3, Lower Turo, Nova Scotia. Copy. Gold van and a red truck in the driveway of 67. Major. Okay, that was that red house back there because we just went up to the next house. It's 51. Uh, we'll go back to that uh, residence then. That's correct. It is red. There was a guy walking around the uh, property with a flashlight. That's correct. He was walking with a flashlight. Now, the caller has a garage out in the backyard, 16 by 16, but it's open. And there's a chicken coop back there, too, as well. Uh, the door is off of it. And that's all they know. And if you go to the door, they want you to knock five times so they know it's you. They'll let you in if you need to talk to them. Have you guys been talking to them? I'm on the phone with them right now. Cool. So... They called in seeing someone walking around with a flashlight. That's correct. 67 Bayshore Road. Copy that. OCC, do you have uh, the complainant still on the phone? I do, sir. Yeah, I'm talking to him right now. Copy that. Where did they last see that flashlight? In the backyard area. Copy that. They're inside the house? They're inside the house, yeah. There's a bunch of children in there, too. They're sleeping in the There's a garage in the back area, too. It's a 16 by 16. It's wide open there. Yeah, I copy that. We're in front of that now. Oscar Charlie, Hotel One. Hotel One, Oscar Charlie, go. Okay, we're going to dismount here, uh, take up positions of defense, and go talk to them uh, at their front door. 
OCC if you could let them know that the police will be coming to knock on their front door. And far, he's aware. All right, copy that. 10627. Mr. Charlie, we have permission to move. Uh, Hotel One, Oscar Charlie, your permission to move. Copy that. Once we're out, we'll uh, cast uh, the dog and uh, try to get thermal images and stuff like that. Hotel One, Oscar Charlie, copy. Hotel One from Oscar Charlie, just confirm the address when you can. Sixty-seven Bayshore Road. Howdy. Associated to this, we just got another call. There's a male that's in the woods on Orchard Beach Road just past the school teacher's house. It's a big house with a white car in the driveway, and he uh, told our caller that his brother's dead up the road, and he's uh, too scared to answer his phone, so he's hiding there. Hey, Clinton, Allison. OCC, again for us. For the second one that I was just referring to regarding Clinton Ellison? 10-4, please. 10-4. So Clinton Ellison is in the woods on Orchard Beach Road. He's just past the school teacher's house. It's a big house with a white car in the driveway on the left-hand side, just past the fence. Clinton told this caller that his brother is dead up the road, and he's not going to answer his phone because he's too frightened. This is different here, 67. All right. Can somebody tell us if that's to the north or south of where we're at? We're at 136 on this road. 136. Negative 18, back to you. Thank you. Hello? Hi, this, this is school RCMP teacher's house dispatch. was the one where the, uh, the initial complaint came in. Hi, is this Richard? No, I'm Clinton. Oh, this is Clinton. So, Clinton, uh, if okay. that's the case, I've got then my that's just on the phone. north of 136. I'm just, bear with me, okay? Yule. Yeah. Copy. You said you're behind the school teacher's house. No, I'm hiding. I'm hiding in the There's woods. No gunshots, uh, since okay, you're hiding in the now. woods. My brother's laying up, up on the road. Okay, just one second. Gunshots. Okay. I heard a lot of gunshots. I just want you to be quiet for a moment because I got officers in the area. So do you know? Indecipherable. Yeah, do you know what the civic number of the house where the woods are that you're at? Terrified. No, 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 no. Okay. What does the house look like? You said it's white. It's the cabin up in the woods, the house beside. A cabin in the woods up to the side. So if I'm driving down from Highway 2 towards the water, would you be on the left-hand side just past Porta Peak Crescent? On the left-hand side near towards the beach. Okay. You're on the left-hand side if you're heading towards the water. Yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. And you're in a cabin in the woods on the left-hand side. I'm behind the fucking Sergeant tree stump. O'Brien, uh, Clinton Allison called us at 2259. They're everywhere, but we want everybody to be safe father, here. So somebody was telling us, I think it was his other son, Corey Allison, behind was a house shot. in the woods. This is related to I'm that. Behind a fucking tree stump. Okay, but there's... 
Lots of tree stumps. Ten four, that's around. ten four confirmed. Um, we're just trying to get some information back as to where this other sign is. You, okay. I understand it could be in the woods hiding out somewhere. Orchard Beach Drive. I'm off. I'm off of it. You're off of Orchard Beach Drive. Hey, if you want to bring yeah. your dog up here, he seems to be uh, flashlight run past in front of his vehicle here in the, the backyard. Towards the beach. You want to cast something? You're on the road heading towards the beach, okay? Because there's two roads heading towards the beach. Now. Ah. Porta Peak Crescent meets back up with Orchard Beach Drive. Are you on that one? I'm on Orchard Beach Drive, yes. Why you? Orchard Beach Drive says private road. Okay, so are you at an intersection? And if you come down, keep coming down that road that there was a house on fire earlier. Okay. There's the house on fire or something and my brother went up and he... Okay. He called up my dad and said I took pictures house. I took pictures of it. Okay, okay, just a, I, I know you're really scared right now, I'm really trying to help you. So if you're wa, if you're going down Orchard Beach Drive. Yeah. Did you stay on Orchard Beach Drive? No. I'm on Orchard Beach Drive. You are on Orchard Beach Drive. I'm sure it's Orchard Beach Drive. And you're in the woods. To the water. You're in the woods, okay. Yeah. Okay, so, um, A, are you near one of the houses that was on fire? Yeah, I am, yeah. Okay. Oh, one. Was. Okay. Just one second, okay. Do you see any cars around you? No, I don't see any. No cars. But somebody followed me with a flashlight. They had a little flashlight. Wah, how long ago was that? I don't know, I went on the ground fucking freezing to death. Okay. So. Do you think that was an hour ago or five minutes ago? A long time ago. A long time ago. Okay. At least a half an hour. Okay. Just one second. What are you wearing? All black, thank God. You're wearing all black. Are you wear a hat or anything? I almost want. Are you wearing a hat or anything? I'm wearing a black hat. A black ball hat? Yeah. So, ah, uh, I want to get this right. Walking down Orchard Beach Drive, you're on the left-hand side behind a tree stump near one of the houses that was on fire, is that correct? No, no this house wasn't on fire. Sergeant Lillian it's Hospital, a little cabin. We'll be at the hospital with a the, cabin. Uh, it's like a little, little cabin like if you go up, if you turn left off of Orchard Beach Drive and you walk up there, I saw it like a little building or something. Like is it Porta Peak Crescent maybe? Is it the first left? Did you take I the first left? I still have that left? caller on the line. It's That's the first on Porta Peak Road, terrified. Highway. He's hiding behind first a tree stump highway. near uh, right. a private a road behind this private, a private road. road. A little private road on the left. Okay, just one second, okay. Just one second. I just heard an explosion. I just heard a gun. How far is that location from uh You're doing great. Just, just give me one second, okay? I believe it's, uh, yeah. like the next road subdivision over. I'm gonna Allie, see if somebody can ping his, his cell, phone his cell phone so we can get a better lap I'm gonna get my friend to help me, okay? See if we can find out exactly where you are. It's 9-0-2, tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Clinton, my friend's going to try and find exactly where you are, okay? Sure, that's yeah. a kid on the phone there. Okay. Uh, just FYI, that's where the suspect uh, lives second. down in that area, right? Sorry, there's lots of people talking on the channels there. Radio talking in background. Did they just say my brother shot twice? Pa, no. There's other things going on, Clinton. I'm sorry. I think Did the you kid on the brother? phone has just found his brother that was shot a couple You're of hours ago. You're doing really good. Just listen to me, okay? Too scared We're going to get you some help and get you out of there so, so you've been there for a while, eh? Yeah, for a while. Copy, just okay. making sure it's not our suspect. Yeah, I'm talking uh, to him right now, yeah. Looking for an ambush on us. So you don't know who it was following you with the flashlight? No, I everything here, guys. Um, he's... So we're either. trying to get the ping on his cell phone there, but that is him. There dead. I turned around and ran for my life. Okay. And then once I turned up this little nook, this little lane, the little lane I had to turn around and look, and I could see a little flashlight, and they were turning it on, then off, then on, and off. Okay, like they were trying to hide. Okay. 
Are you in by the house that's on fire? Yeah, just so you know, this guy I've is. I've got uh, officers everywhere. Uh, I don't have the right uh, to myself, but my officers are on the radio. Uh, all and two way. of the hands have possibly yeah. headshots and uh, known to have uh, long guns. Is your cell oh, yeah. phone light on when you're talking to me? I'll see it again. We'll Is your cell phone man. like, are you on an I iPhone so that when you're talking to me, it's eliminated? See if we can walk out. No, it's turned off unless I put my head up. Sorry, just one second. We're just still trying to establish a track here. Nothing so far. Uh, Shouldn't be too much longer, and we'll be back there. You know, he um, doesn't have a time frame because uh, he's been hiding for a while in the cold, but he says that he uh, did have somebody following him at one point with a flashlight turning it on and off. Um, but he doesn't know if that's an hour ago or two hours ago or a few minutes ago. Part two. Just to secure all the uh, our base base hitting the e button. And he's wearing all black. If you do come across some black hat, and everything else is in black. Sorry, he was just talking to me, go. Just curious if the brother's given any intent. I know he's quite upset and distraught, but any uh, reasons? Yeah, he didn't uh, even know that he didn't. This has happened really that much. Just stand by. I've got a 98 meter radius, so I can ping him exactly where he is. Sorry, just one second. Yeah. Because I, I think I know exactly where you might be, and I'm going to tell the officers. Okay. Hotel one. For okay. Percent. You guys. Go for hotel one. One second. The father of these two. Sorry. They approach to check out the fire. Just, just, just one SEC. Shot. I want one everybody to be safe, okay? Is it 40 caliber? Yeah. Okay, I got that ping. I'm just going to tell them. Copy that. Okay, I have the ping. For no the Peak unit. Crescent. Um, this mail is hiding in the woods so you said you had gone to check on your brother yeah so he's just like we were at my dad's and went to see the big fire yeah Copy. what the hell and so he's like call the fire department and then my my brother said i'm gonna go look and then he went and looked and then i followed him out till the end of the driveway and then i turned around and came back and then he called and said i'm taking pictures of it it's really bad and that's all we heard and then i went to go look for him and he's like by the side of the location? road he's just laying there on the road you just saw him laying okay. Just laying. Indecipherable. Okay. Okay, just one second. I'm still on the line with him. A member was asking in regards to possible motive, and he said that uh, him and his brother had seen this big fire. So the brother went to go look. Um, this male did not go. I'm freezing the death. He went oh, to fuck. go see, and he just saw his brother lying there. All he knows is that his brother was lying there. He's just north of Ah, uh, Portapique Crescent.
Yeah, if you look at 23 Port, well you come see here. It's 23 yeah, yeah. Porta Peak Crescent, just north of 20 Porta Peak. He's, he's in the woods hiding behind, ah, a wood stump. And where's your brother? Where did you see your brother? He's up the road by the house on fire. Okay. Yeah. He's laying on the ground all twisted. One, 135 is quite the distance. You're doing great. Yeah, he how much longer do you think? Saw lying there, I'm, uh, I'm not sure we're trying to put everybody to be safe. Fire. How much battery life do you have? Oh, I have to take the phone off my head to light up. Okay. You didn't move, did? Oh, no. Okay. No. Just one second, okay? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Just one second, okay? Yeah. Hotel one from Richmond. Go for hotel one. Yeah, I'm just wondering with this young fellow here who's hunkered in place, the civilian, um, what a plan to get him out of there. Yeah. As soon as we uh, finish uh, here. Earth confirmed the make and plate of that vehicle in the driveway has snow on it in Portland. Has not moved, so Portland Street was next for Adria. Sorry, Clinton, I was. Go again with that info. Just going to have to confirm with the call taker that was the Mercedes, but or confirm the make and plate of the vehicle is in the driveway at 193 Portland Street. Has not moved. There's snow on it. Hey, Clinton. They're just trying to set up everything okay. Uh, 1010. It's a uh, staff mm -hmm. call. I'm in touch Did with you have full Washington battery when this all started? Like when you went I'll to go grab it? Up now to no, I think it was about half. Half? You guys. You guys didn't get a call of a house on fire? Pardon me? You guys didn't even get a call that there was a fire? We've gotten calls that the house was on fire, yes. Okay. Yeah. But there's lots going on in that area. Okay. I, uh, I heard a lot of gunfire. Yeah. And have you heard anything in the last little bit? Dog is, uh, just that bang that I heard a while ago like a boom, like a boom, road, but not a gunfire. Can't determine it just sounded like a boom. Okay, like maybe the fire crackling? The residence, I don't know. A bit of here on the road, okay, blah, blah. just one second. Radio Jen speaking. HRP on the Copy line. That. We'll go tell hey, I'm just talking to one of our guys that's hotel. hiding in the woods. Yeah, our, uh, um, maybe Brian can fill this or somebody? That, uh, out of that sure. Area. Okay, thanks. Copy. We're just exploring the area here to see if we get anything and uh, we'll go from there. Copy that. 